do my 2019 resolutions. I've been interrupted five times already. So here's hoping no more. The word of the year is joyful. I want to be more joyful. Um, for me, I want to use the word joy all around my house. I want to use it in my children just to lift them up. I want to be more joyful with them. I want to be more joyful in my relationships with people. Um, just be more joyful with my religion and nature and just everything around me. Just be a little more full of joy. Um, so getting into my actual 10 resolutions, the first one is to pray more and worry less. Really hoping that this year I can just kind of like set myself free, be full of joy, and not worry so much, and just give give my stress over to God, and just be like, here, take it. I don't want it. Leave it for you. You can handle it better than I can. The next thing is to potty train a lot. Let me tell you something. Diapers are not cheap. I am lucky. I'm very lucky. I only have about one bag of diapers a week. But I hate doing it. I really do. And I know I'm, I'm going to have to have diapers in the house for a while because of Phoenix. But I'd rather have one bag every couple months versus constantly. Like every week, no matter what, go get those size five. Parents' choice diapers, please. Um, it would just be awesome to save that. that. At the end of the day, that's 20 bucks a month. You could use that on something else. Um... The next thing is to read three books a month and write five times a week. So this is a big one for me. I I feel like in order to be a good writer, you must read. Because if you don't read, then you can't write. So I really want to focus on just like getting back into the library more. And I want to just like buy more books and start my book collection again. Um, especially like my favorite books I would like to reread um, some of the books that I really loved as a child but I feel like I need to branch out of the young adult section now and really get into some more like not adult thing but like more adult higher intelligence books that are still fiction because fiction is always gonna have my heart but um yeah and I really want to write more. I want to write more poetry again, lyrics, um, and possibly, you know, really dive into writing one of my books that I have going. Um, I want to lose 70 pounds. I have not weighed myself. I don't know exactly what I weigh, but I know that I need to lose like 120 plus pounds. I am big. I am thick. And I do not mind being big but good god <laughs> something has to give because i i just want to be healthy and i want to be able to keep up with my boys and you can be healthy and be chunky that is true but i know for a fact that my weight is causing me problems um and my pcos has come back since i gained weight so definitely need to work on that um the next thing is to drink lots of water and eat healthy i do eat pretty healthy and i do drink a good amount of water but i can always do better and i definitely this year really want to focus on that and that will add into you know losing weight. i want to save some money who doesn't who doesn't want to save money um, we really felt that we were going to end this year with savings, but it just didn't happen. So, um, I definitely want to focus on saving money and being able to take care of my kids. Um, I take care of my kids. Being able to give them more than, I, than what I had as a child. I was given a lot. My mom worked three jobs when she had to. My dad did too. Like, my step-parents worked really hard for us. But I know that um, everybody always wants better for their kids. Um, the next thing is to go one year without coloring my hair. Last time I colored my hair was August. So I would like to make it until my birthday before I cut my hair. Or at least until my birthday week. Um, I'm going to not highlight. I do think that I may get some toner 
and tone my hair, but I'm not gonna count that against me. I just would like to tone this and get out some of the brassiness because over time, um, highlights and balayage and stuff gets kind of brassy. Um, the next thing is to go to a chiropractor. I've never been, I really think I need to go. Um, I think it'll be good for me. So we have health insurance this year. I'm going to try and go. The next thing is I want to learn how to have more self-love. That's a hard one for me because I do love myself. I think I'm awesome. But I do have this really bad problem where I doubt myself and I, I, I don't love myself like I should or as much as I should. Sometimes I love others more than I love me. And I think that's been a problem. I think it's been a problem not just for me personally, but I think sometimes it's a problem for other people when I love them more than I love myself. Um, so I really do want to focus on self-love more, whether it be taking time for myself, going on trips by myself, just investing. And the last thing actually is I want to reach 500 subscribers. I don't really care if YouTube becomes a job for me or if I make money on YouTube or if I get sponsors. Um, I just want to be real and kind of give this realness to the world, um, this rawness. Um, and this year I didn't really dive into YouTube the way that I originally planned to. I just kind of like dip my toes in it, but I do think in 2019 I'm really just going to go head first in. I do have some YouTube goals. Um, I might do a mini video with that, but right now I'm going to keep that to myself. Um, just kind of like where I want to go, what kind of videos I'm going to do, how many I'm going to do, things like that. Um, I just feel like right now I'm not going to put a number on it, but I do have my list for January written out. I'm pre-recording some things and some things I have to wait, but I am really excited. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Share me with your friends and family. I'm sorry about that. A lot of us crying really hard. So that was my 2019 resolutions. I hope that this motivates you to set resolutions for yourself. If you have a word of the year, please comment it below. If you have a personal anthem, let me know what it is. I need some more to jam out to and make myself feel better. Come on, that self-love is important to me. Resolutions is a time where you know a lot of people are doing them. A lot of people are setting resolutions. Some people are setting resolutions to not set resolutions. So <laughs> this is a time where everybody's kind of just like getting their mindset on goals and we're all wanting to crush them. I think that's awesome. And it just connects us all as a people. So I hope that y'all are having a fantastic New Year's and I cannot wait to see what 2019 does for you and for me. See you later. Bye.